Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. Just built a really cool antenna, a simple one too. Probably a great antenna for someone just getting into HF to build. It's an inverted V dipole. Um, the version that I built, I got off the site from K7MEM. He has a calculator that'll calculate wire lengths. And the reason being is a flat topper dipole, you can't just angle it down towards the ground and have it as resonant and, and perfect as a real flat top di dipole because the ground makes the wire when you angle it down it makes it electrically longer so he's got this calculator that he's put out on his web on this web page that'll calculate that for you it's about a three to five percent reduction in wire length to to make it work and so i use this and i built this antenna here and it's a it's a really easy one 20 meters i think I, for somewhere in the middle of the voice uh area is what i calculated it for and i put it up and I'll be honest with you, it, I know some people are going to go, hey, yeah, you know, you could raise it up higher. You could change the angle uh, of the uh, the wires from 90 to a higher degree or whatever, and you'll get better performance. That may be true. But one cool thing about this setup right here, it takes up a really small footprint, and it's a great antenna to put in the backyard. If you're in an HOA situation, maybe if you got a privacy fence, this will stay kind of below the privacy fence, and you could use this. And I had some pretty good... um Pretty good results from it. I want to share them with you right here. Well, here it is. Not exactly the sexiest antenna I've ever built. Well, this is my attempt at an inverted V. If you can see it, that's about 50 feet of RG8X coming from the Second floor window going up to the pole. It is, uh, we're getting closer here. It's taped to the pole about two meters down from the top. At the top, it's a little crooked, but I have my one-to-one -one ballon taped to the pole with a banana clip to it. And then down on each side, as you can see an insulator and a piece of rope to a tent stake. So that's it, we'll show you. And that's to the dimensions, not quite 12 feet. I'm going on, uh, I'll show you the dimensions. I'm going on, on US there, because I'm an American, I'm thinking an American here. There you go, tent stake to some rope to an insulator. So there you go, here's my inverted V for 20 meters. Let's go see how it works. Here's the SWR sweep using the uh, Zygu X5105, which is uh, near perfect. It gets a little up there towards the end of the band there, but uh, really good SWR. I will be getting on the air mostly using the uh, FX4CR. That's the plan. But I may come back and work some QRP with this rig. But there you go. Antenna's looking good. I, uh, I nailed it using the, the dimensions. Uh, and uh, the look at that. I'm happy with that. Now it's time to see if this thing will work. So with this antenna up, I figured, you know what? It would probably be a great, almost an NVIS type of antenna because it's going to be somewhat omnidirectional. And where I'm at in Europe, it would help me work other stations within Europe. What I was really surprised at is I was kind of on the outer realms of Europe with, and even outside of Europe with, with some of my first initial contacts. Like uh, out up to out to Israel, and then the outer reaches of of other parts of Europe. Here's a few QSOs to show you the kind of performance I was getting. This was day one, the afternoon after I put this thing up. Okay, Sierra Papa, show Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good morning. You're five five fifty five over. QSL, you are five nine uh, near Gdansk, Poland. Thank you for taking the call. Seventy three. Hi, QSL, you're five nine into the north of Poland. I'm about 60 kilometers west of Gdansk, near the Baltic Sea here. The name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm an American working in Poland. Roger, Roger. So you're not, not operating remote. You're actually physically in Poland. 
uh, QSL, I am physically in Poland. I'm actually only 20 watts, 20 watts with a uh, inverted um, dipole right now, an inverted V dipole right now, 20 watts. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, all the best in 73. 73, this is uh, Yankee Uniform 7, X-ray, X-ray. Uh, QSL, you're five nine near Gdansk, Poland. I'm just running twenty watts with an inverted V uh, dipole there. Thank you so much for taking the call. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Nice to see you from the Pharaoh. Oscar Yankee, stroke four X sixty T Q R Z. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, big hello from Liverpool to Poland. Uh, <laughs> I do you want? Uh, you sounding great today. Is the vertical or? Hey, thanks. I just built an antenna. This is an inverted V dipole. Uh, it is a 20 meter dipole that I did it inverted on and I uh, just got it up. You're one of the first calls. It's so good to know that I'm getting over there to the UK. So uh, wonderful signal here with that 10 watts. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn mine down to, I'm at 20 right now. I'm going to turn it down to 10 on the next comeback. QSL, QSL, uh, Merrick, and now I'm down to 10 watts, 10 watts with the inverted V dipole. You're 5'9 and 5 over at times. Your signal's wonderful as well there. Back to you. Yes, Walter. Uh, didn't change much, to be honest with you. 5'9, 5'9 in the clear, so um, you, you also maybe, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit patch on the audio, but the uh, signal report is actually the same, QSL. QSL, thank you so much. I'm glad I got a uh, QRP signal here, then a QRP contact with this uh, antenna here. Like I said, I just put it up. So so wonderful to take to, to make this contact, especially with uh, with you. I, I appreciate that so much, my friend. Okay, Walter, well, no problem. I'm running QRP myself. I'm running 10 watts. Uh, if you remember, I'm uh, using the cobweb, uh, cobweb which is pointed uh, east, and uh, actually pointing your direction directly. I'm pointing my cobweb directly your direction, QSO. Seventy feet, Walter, stay safe. Uh, bye bye. Oh my gosh, this is great, QSO. I'm loving it. Uh, QRZ, any more calls for Mexico Seven uh, Sugar Zulu uh, Yankee? Okay, that was cool. I mean, Faroe Islands, that was a great contact for me as well as, as, as Israel and, and then others that uh, really friends that I've made over here in Europe. It's kind of great to, to, to catch them again on the bands. One thing that I've been doing, I've been getting up early in the morning and uh, before I go to work because that's the time right now for where I'm at up in, in Central Europe that I'm really getting openings on 20 meters into the United States. <laughs> I didn't really expect to get much out of this little antenna in the, as far as DX across the pond in the States, but I was pleasantly surprised when I heard two guys from New York talking to each other. They had a little break in there and I, and I called and they, and they let me in. I kind of had a little rag chew with a couple guys in New York in an early morning hours. It was really neat. Here you go. A QSL, QSL, Tom, you're uh, coming in about a 5'8 here. Um, good signal, both of you guys, very good audio, and it uh, sounds like you're uh, just a few miles away, actually, there. So uh, thanks for picking it up, picking up the call as well. It's good to talk to both of you guys. QSL, QSL, and uh, the prefix is uh, Sugar Papa here in um, in Poland. Okay, got it. Uh, I, I'm not switching, writing things down. 73, thanks for your report also. Over. Uh, you peaked at 5.9 that time. Really good. Yeah, 7.3, thanks so much for taking the call. 7.3, good luck. Thank you. Hey, Walt, have a good time over there. I might look you up. 
<laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of weeks left here, and uh, I'll be back in the States at the end of June here for sure. But uh, enjoy Sweden. It's a wonderful place as well, and uh, you, you will have a good time there. Hey, both of you guys, thanks so much for picking me up here. Uh, it's morning for me. I know it's evening for you guys. Have a good night, and enjoy the uh, DX. The conditions look really good tonight. 73. Well, there you go. A simple antenna. And I'll be honest with you, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm actually really uh, over. I, I can't believe how well this thing performed. It was really a great little antenna. Wish I would have built this something like this a long, long time ago. But um, yeah, if you're looking for uh, you're starting out into HF or hey, if you've got a backyard and, uh, and not a lot of space, uh, this would be a, a perfect little antenna to, to get going. And it, it, it's a performer. I tell you what, if, if, but it's a mono band antenna. It really is. I, I tell you, it is omnidirectional. I've noticed one thing about all my contacts. They've been all around me. So I've had some good stuff all around. I, I, I want to build this thing again, like near the water or, or somewhere near home or harbor. It would be a great portable antenna. So something to look into and, and a lot of fun. I understand. I know people are going to leave in the comments. You should raise that thing up higher. You should change it or whatever. I understand that. And, and I'm sure it will. Th this is a great antenna to experiment like that with, it, you know, especially if you have a pole where you can telescopic up or down or whatever. I just really wanted to see how well this thing would perform. Built to K7 MEM's calculator and, and his outline. And it, it performed well, very well. I think you just saw that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Got some more antennas I want to build and experiment with. That's what I like to do. If you like that, you'll love this channel. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends.